Hey, welcome back to the seventh lesson of our tutorial series on how to convert your games into online multiplayers. For this lesson, we're going to complete the gameplay loop for our multiplayer Pong. And what I mean by this is we can start our game, we can then click play and load into the game scene. We can then play our game, but once we have a winner, if we click the main menu button, it'll load us back to the main menu scene. But as you can see, our play button never pops up. Instead, it just says loading. And that's because we're still connected to the same room. And so let's go ahead and fix this problem. To do this, we want to open up the game controller script. Inside this script, we first need to add the photon.pun namespace up the top. Now inside the script, there are two ways that the players can load back to the main menu scene. The first is in the update function where we have this if statement where we check for the player's input when they press the escape key. Here you can see that we then load back to scene 0. But before we load back to scene 0, we want to disconnect from the room. To do this, we're going to type photon network dot leave room. We then want to scroll down where we have this public function called main menu. And here, this is the function that's paired to that main menu button on our game over panel. So inside this function, we want to add the same line of code, photon network dot leave room. Once you have that, we can save our script and go back to Unity, and that should be it. Now let's build our project and test it out. So I'm gonna click play in the standalone and play in the editor. I'm then just going to send the ball until one of the players wins. All right, so here we have player one wins. I do need to fix the scaling of the UI for our standalone, but now I'm going to click the main menu button, and there we can see that it loaded us back to the main menu scene. We had the loading show up for a second, but then we reconnected to the Photon servers. I can also do it in our editor, and there we go. From here, I can now click play, and there we've reconnected to a new room and game. Now that's everything that we're going to cover in this lesson on how to disconnect from a room. 